Hey there gamers, today we're going to take a look at the evolution of zombies in games. From slow, shambling corpses to fast, intelligent predators, zombies have evolved over the years in ways we could never have imagined. So without further ado, let's dive into the undead world of gaming. Coast and Goblins, which was originally released in 1985 for the arcade and later on various platforms like the Nintendo Entertainment System. While the game is not exclusively about zombies, it features levels where players must fight against hordes of undead monsters that rise from graves or coffins. The game is known for its high level of difficulty and challenging gameplay, but it has also become a classic of the 8-bit era. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which was released in 1993 for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. In this game, players control two teenagers who must rescue their neighbors from a zombie invasion. The game features a variety of weapons and power-ups and also includes other classic horror movie monsters like vampires and werewolves. Resident Evil 1996 Resident Evil is the game that introduced us to the idea of zombies as bioweapons. These zombies were created by the Umbrella Corporation and were fast, aggressive, and had a taste for human flesh. House of the Dead 1996 This arcade classic introduced us to zombies as a boss fight. These zombies were grotesque and mutated, with massive amounts of health and unique attack patterns. Half-Life 1998 While not strictly a zombie game, Half-Life introduced us to the idea of headcrabs, which attach themselves to human hosts and turn them into zombies. The Typing of the Dead 1999 this game took the classic House of the Dead formula and turned it on its head by making the player type out words to kill zombies. It was a fun and innovative take on the zombie genre. Uh, thank you for rescuing me. No! What? <laughs> Dead Rising 2006. Dead Rising was a game that took the zombie apocalypse and turned it into a sandbox playground. The zombies were slow and easy to kill, but there were hundreds of them on screen at any given time, creating a chaotic and fun experience. Left 4 Dead, 2008. Left 4 Dead introduced us to the idea of cooperative zombie killing. The zombies in this game were fast and aggressive, requiring players to work together to survive. Plants vs. Zombies 2009 Who says zombies can't be cute? Plants vs. Zombies took a lighthearted approach to the zombie genre, the cartoonish zombies that were both adorable and deadly. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare 2010 this expansion to Red Dead Redemption took the Wild West and added zombies. The zombies in this game were slow and shambling, but there were hordes of them that could easily overwhelm the player. Dead Island 2011 Dead Island was a game that focused on melee combat with zombies. The zombies in this game were slow and easy to take down, but the game made up for it with a massive open world to explore. The Last of Us 2013 The Last of Us took the zombie genre and turned it on its head by creating a game that was more about survival than killing zombies. The zombies in this game were called infected and were fast and aggressive, requiring players to be stealthy and resourceful.
State of Decay 2013. State of Decay was a game that focused on building and maintaining a community in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. The enemies in this game were slow and easy to kill, but they were numerous, and players had to be careful not to attract too many of them at once. Dying Light 2015 Dying Light was a game that combined parkour with zombie killing. The zombies in this game were fast and aggressive, requiring players to be quick on their feet. Holy shit. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 2015 in the Call of Duty series, zombies are a staple of the multiplayer mode. Black Ops 3 took it to the next level by introducing the Zombies Chronicles DLC, which included remastered versions of classic zombies maps from previous Call of Duty games. Overkill's The Walking Dead 2018 Based on the popular TV series, Overkill's The Walking Dead introduced us to a world where zombies are not the only threat. Players had to deal with rival human factions as well as the undead. I'm all out! Days Gone 2019. Days Gone was a game that took the zombie genre and combined it with the open world formula. The zombies in this game were called Freakers and were fast and aggressive, requiring players to be constantly on the move. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 2020 The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners was a game that focused on the player's choices in a world overrun by zombies. The zombies in this game were slow and shambling, but the game made up for it with a deep and immersive story. Do you hide in dark places? Do you kill from afar? Resident Evil 4 Remake 2023 Let's finish off with a tried and true franchise that has been working incredibly hard to keep things interesting and enjoyable. The one and only Leon S. Kennedy appears in this game as he sets out to protect the president's daughter from an unknown group of individuals. Leon had to face zombie monsters, allies, betrayals, and more. Thanks to the reboot, you can again relive this trip. And there you have it, folks. The evolution of zombies in games. From slow, brainless corpses to fast, intelligent predators, zombies have come a long way in the gaming world. Which zombie game is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.